Welcome to this episode of the Million Dollar Mastermind, where we get real world insights on winning from people who have accomplished amazing things. I'm your host, Larry Wydell, and let's get going. I'm here with Dennis Vayat, and Dennis is the owner of a financial services business throughout the United States, Canada, closing in on 100 offices, and uh, uh, exciting times, lots of financially independent people, a lot of people doing well. And, you know, they're, they're so much fun to be in business with when they're doing well. <laughs> it is. It's the greatest, you know what? And, and, and you're so happy for them and their families. Right. Because you know what they've done, done themselves to put themselves in that position. Right. And it's, it's amazing. It just is, it's just absolutely fabulous. And that doesn't happen overnight. That happens when you have stayed with something uh, through the stages we talked about up to this point, the startup, the, uh, the stage where you've got momentum and uh, now it's a matter of just building the momentum and building the width to your and stability and security to your organization. Uh, now that comes over time. And that it relates directly to your core values. What are the core values that you started with and that you stayed with and that you think have been most uh, 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 giving you the, the biggest strength? Uh, because you mentioned that earlier, you know, when adversity comes, your core values are attacked. And uh, uh, what would you say has, uh, what are things that you say to people the most or you say to yourself well as far as business related as simple as it sounds you're in business so my number one thing is always make money yeah. <laughs> okay <laughs> because if you're not making any money you're not going to be in business right okay and then it is so that in itself is the is a you know and you know, from from a from a belief standpoint, it's important. Whatever whatever you're involved with, you need to believe in what you're doing. You need to believe believe that you're impacting society positively. That you're bringing value to the marketplace, to whatever degree. In the business I'm in, okay, I run an education based financial services company, right? Okay, that teaches and educates. And while we're doing that. Okay, right. We are looking for people that with an entrepreneurial mindset, they may not have come from an entrepreneurial mindset. In fact, most don't. Okay, right. They come from an employ employer. Okay, right. They, they come, from, you know, from working for somebody else at the same time. They've had that spark inside of them. Okay, right. And they see this as an opportunity. And for me, Larry, just, you know, answering your question is that, you know, those, those core values is that, that belief, like I mentioned, is what, in what you're doing and what you can, what you can, um, you know, be able to share with others and that they get excited about that. That, that's a big thing. Now, personally, what would you say your core values that you say to yourself that when you're self-coaching yourself? Well, I, I, you know, well, one of my core values is that I am mentally stronger than the situation. Whatever the situation is, I'm going to overcome that adversity, right? I'm going to, right? And, and the, you know, I know there's going to be challenges. That's part of life, okay, right? I'm going to, I'm not going to say every time I'm going to embrace it because that's not, okay? I'm going to do my very best to be able to embrace every situation. I'm going to um, do my best to look on the, 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 the right side of it. Okay. Of that adversity. Okay. And cause I know that over time, whatever that is, I'm going to become stronger. Okay. Now going through it, that's going to be incredibly gut wrenching and difficult. Okay. And that's where growth, that's where growth comes from. When you think about somebody that lifts weights, right? Well, something has to be broken down before something can be built up. Okay, right. And you had mentioned earlier, Larry, you know, just from a military background, that's generally what happens in the military, right? When people come in and, right, and then they build people, you know, break them down, build them up, right? I don't know all there is to know about that, of course, personally, but that's my understanding. And that's how life is, right? For people to take themselves to the next level. So for me personally, like I said, is that's a, that's a core value is that, 
that belief in myself. You're talking about your 27 year old, six foot seven son in the business, <laughs> and you see him evolving. What are things, if you were going to talk to him right now, a couple of things that, you know, because the great thing about this, uh, Dennis, is he's going to be real interested in this interview, okay? And because uh, we don't usually talk about this stuff to people, you know, we're in solving problems or we're helping them solve their problems. And so this behind the scenes conversation is just something that we don't try and avoid. But uh, my younger son uh, is in the past year has come up to me frequently saying, I just went, I found out you were over, you know, you've been in Europe and over here and you were over here and then you know all these people there. He said, why didn't you ever tell me that? I said, it just never came up. <laughs> I didn't know, first of all, I didn't think you were ever interested in anything like that. <laughs> you know, kids grow up and, uh, you know, dad, you know, here's a funny thing to me where you have the guy say, well, you know, I want to go out and win the Super Bowl or whatever. And then when I talk to my grandkids out the porch, you know, I'll be able to show the trophy and tell the grandkids won't care about your trophy. They wouldn't even know what the Super Bowl is. You know, they're going to want to go, you know, chase the pony or, or, or you know, go kick the ball. <laughs> but this whole thing is like, yeah, I got to drive in there and, uh, you know, have something to tell the grandkids about. Yeah, they won't be listening. <laughs> I hear you. They're going to be wanting to do their stuff, but absolutely, it's a nice fantasy to have, you know, I'll have all a lot of great things to tell the grandkids. Oh, shut up. <laughs> I hear you, man. Oh, if you're, you got your son now, what would you, uh, a couple of quick things that you really want, uh, have passed on. You probably already told him all these things a thousand times, but, uh, you, you know, that you're, same things that you've told yourself over the year, work hard, this, that, and the other, treat people right, keep, you know, keep focused on the bottom line, you know, never lose focus of your, your mission for your company, how you're helping people, but also that you're using your activity in a way where you can make money, you know, and so what, what are some things that, you know, if there's anything that you would uh, want to pass on to him? Yeah, well, the things that you had stated, already, of course, right? And tied with that was, you know, a couple of different things. More, more is caught than taught, yeah. right? Based on what somebody says and does versus you know, meaning their, somebody's actions, right? And that what a big separator in, 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 in life is, is, is doing what you say, okay? And following through on your commitments, right? When you say right. you're going to do something. Because so few people actually follow through and follow up with what they right. say they're going to do. And, and in the financial services business, when you do that, that puts you in a great spot. Um, and then just really caring about people um, and showing that, you know, with time, of course, also, also, right, is just the way you treat them. Yeah. Well, this has been great. I, uh, uh, Looking forward to the next time I get a chance to hear you on stage and hear you unleash the fury. <laughs> <laughs> I think you and I are kind of similar in nature on some of those things, Larry. Okay, yeah. right. We do have a we do have a little bit of a similar personality and the way we communicate. So I think I've done so much of it over the years. I've talked myself out. <laughs> I hear you, but you know what I'm saying. Like I know exactly. Yeah, just say. a little bit more of a different uh, way of communicating than than everybody else does. So. Yeah, but anyway, uh, thanks so much. <laughs> you bet. This, this is great, and uh, uh, I appreciate all the comments. Do you have Do you have a final word you want to leave uh, leave this thing with? Wrap it up. Um, I, my big thing is is just believe in what you do and believe in yourself and, and, and go for it. You only have, right. You're only on this planet for a certain period of time and let's go, let's go max out whatever that means to you. Absolutely. Yeah. But there couldn't be better final words than that, you know, believe in what you do and 
get after it, you know? So <laughs> what good is it to believe in what you do if you're not going to get after it? Absolutely. Right? I hear All you. Right. Hey, I thanks hear so much, you. Dennis. It's you been bet. a lot of fun. That wraps up this episode. Consider leaving a rating and review if you like what you heard. In addition, I have a free video for you and it contains my best insights from 20 years of running my own business and also coaching million dollar earners. You'll find it at whitelonwinning.com forward slash webinar. Thanks for listening and do it big.